Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to review the Nest Hello in 2021. Now, the Nest Hello wasn't launched in 2021. It's been out for a couple years. It was launched in 2018, but the Nest Hello, even today, stands more relevant than ever. And that's because it was built with quality technology when it was designed, and there's a few features that have been added on the software side over time with the Nest Hello. If I was looking for a smart doorbell, two of my current favorite doorbells are the Nest Hello and the Ring Pro 2 as of the summer of 2021. And there's a few reasons why for that. The Nest Hello has some of the best video quality out there. It's 1080 HD, and while that doesn't tell the whole story in terms of high definition footage, I think what's really great about the Nest Hello is that it does a good job with the image sensor changing light levels or adjusting to light levels so you're able to see someone's face when they're both far away and closer to the door. Now, the Nest Hello is a Wi-Fi video doorbell, which means that you're going to be able to view and review footage on the Nest app on your phone, regardless if you're at home or away from your house, as long as you've got an internet connection to both both the doorbell and your phone somewhere, you're going to be able to view that live stream footage or view recorded events from your phone using the Nest app. And that's another benefit of the Nest Hello. It does work on the Nest app with other Nest devices like the Nest Gen 3 thermostat or the Nest Yale locks, both devices which I've reviewed on this channel and I really do enjoy. In fact, the Nest thermostat is one of my favorite smart thermostats as well. And the Nest Hello works in that existing ecosystem with all of those Nest devices. Now, it's capable of both live view footage during the day and it also has a nighttime mode. It's got some built-in IR illuminators and the nighttime footage is pretty good. I'd say out to about 20 feet, you're able to make out people and faces, but then further than that, you're going to be able to see details, but more than 20 or 30 feet, you probably wouldn't be able to read, let's say, a license plate on a moving car in front of you. Overall, my opinion of the nighttime footage is that it's pretty good for seeing people close up, especially when they get closer and closer to the door. I wish it had a little bit more range for larger objects and detail at larger ranges at night, but overall it's serviceable. And compared to other doorbells in this segment, it really does have better nighttime video doorbell footage than most other competing video doorbells. And as far as the daytime footage goes, I would say once again, it's comparable and or better than most other video doorbells out there. Really, it's in the same class of video footage as the Ring Pro 2 video doorbell. However, I do think that the Nest Hello potentially has a little bit quicker image sensor for adjusting to light levels when you've got this placed underneath a covered porch where you've got bright light outside and then you have a darker area under the covered porch in with any video doorbell. I have found that that is the most challenging condition for video doorbells is where you've got them underneath a covered porch and then a well-lit front yard. If your front yard has a lot of trees on it and you have a covered porch, the image sensor is gonna keep a pretty consistent adjustment, but it's really hard, it seems like, for video doorbells to have an image sensor that will adjust to the full lighting level on your face when you're approaching in a well-lit yard and then adjust quickly to your face once you come into that darker portion in front of the camera when you're underneath the porch. So I would say the Nest Hello and the Ring Pro 2 are pretty close in that department with the slight edge to the Nest Hello, just in my experience. Now, what's unique about the Nest Hello is that it has 24 seven streaming video recording. So when you have a Nest Hello, it is always recording. It's not just recording when motion is detected. It's a 24 seven stream and that footage is available to review in the cloud if you pay for the Nest monthly cost to store that video footage in the cloud. And I'm not even going to mention what it is per month because it seems to change all the time with Nest, but usually it's about five to $10 to store all of your video footage for 30 days and have it completely reviewable from your phone or from your computer 
through the Nest Cloud service. Now, that's different from a lot of other video doorbells because many other video doorbells only start recording when motion is detected or right before motion is detected. So the ring cameras have what's called a pre-roll footage. However, they are not providing 24 seven video footage recording. They are only recording video footage when motion has been triggered. The Nest Hello is always recording video. You've got a 24 seven reviewable timeline of footage. And with the ring cameras, you do have a reviewable timeline of footage, but you must be aware that that footage is only going to show up when motion is detected. Now, I haven't had any events on the newest versions of the ring cameras or ring doorbells, such as the ring pro two, where I've missed anything where motion was not detected and then it didn't trigger video recording of the footage but on some of the earlier Ring doorbell versions, that absolutely could have been a possibility where the motion sensor didn't get triggered for whatever reason. Maybe somebody is coming from the side of the device and it didn't get triggered, and you may have not gotten that footage. Now, I haven't had that issue on newer Ring doorbells like the Ring Pro 2, now, if you want peace of mind that your video doorbell is always recording and that you're not going to miss any footage, the Nest Hello can give that to you because it is recording 24 seven. And that's great if you wanna watch that time-lapse footage and you just wanna make sure that you don't miss anything. However, there is one downside to that. It's that your Nest Hello will constantly be uploading data to your Wi-Fi network. So it's anywhere from about 0.25 megabytes per second to 1.5 megabytes per second if you have it in the highest resolution that the Nest Hello will be uploading to your network or your Wi-Fi network through your home and then to the cloud storage solution for the Nest app or the Nest cameras. So if you've got a slow Wi-Fi network or slower upload speeds, maybe that could be an issue for you because it is 1.5 megabytes on the upload that your Nest Hello is using. Now, I live in an area with relatively good internet speed and services. I get about 100 megabytes per second download and about 20 to 25 megabytes per second on the upload. So I've never had an issue with the Nest Hello creating too much traffic on my Wi-Fi network where it wasn't able to handle it or it was slowing other things down. But it is something to note if your broadband provider limits how much data that you can use from your devices because it will upload that 1.5 megabytes per second the entire month 24 seven. So you wanna be mindful of that. Now, another awesome feature of the Nest Hello that most other video doorbells don't have is Nest has an integrated facial recognition solution. And to some people, you might really like that. Other people, you may think that's a little bit of a privacy intrusion. And if you think that, you can disable the familiar faces feature on the Nest app. But what the Nest Hello will do is identify faces that you've saved or that it has saved or recognize that you're coming in and out of your house. And it won't notify you unless you ask it to when someone comes in that the face is recognized. So let's say your family is coming in and out every day. They come up to the door. You won't get a motion alert or notification that your family is coming there unless you have it set to notify you for every motion event or every person event. And with the familiar faces feature, you can have Nest specifically let you know when an unfamiliar face is detected. So somebody that doesn't regularly come to this doorbell, it will use that facial recognition, identify them that they are not a familiar person that is saved in your account or with that Nest AI footage, and it will let you know that someone else different is at your door. So that's kind of a neat feature, also kind of a creepy feature in some ways, but it's good if you want to get fewer alerts, you can filter out your family from creating alerts when they come to and from the door, but then get notified when a stranger is coming to the door. So that's kind of a neat feature that some people will use and some people will think is a little bit strange. Now with the Nest Hello, you can also specify what types of alerts you wanna get on your phone. So they have three primary alerts. You can be alerted when a person is detected and it uses AI to detect if it's a person and or a familiar face. 
You can be alerted when a loud sound is detected, like fireworks or a really loud car. And you can also just be alerted when motion is detected. So that would alert you if let's say an animal ran across your yard or maybe a tree branch fell down or somebody drove through your yard, the Nest Hello could alert you to that. So you have motion alerts, you have sound alerts, and you have person alerts. And in the Nest app, it's going to identify each one of those in the app and you're going to be able to see which one is triggered and you can even filter the footage so that you can view only motion alerts or only person alerts or only sound alerts, which is kind of nice so that if you're looking for a specific incident, you don't have to go through hours and hours of footage of just looking at your front yard where nothing changed. So it makes it quicker if you're looking for, hey, let's say, when was that package delivered? You can do that real quickly through the Nest Hello app. Now, the Nest Hello app also lets you customize all kinds of settings within it in terms of the upload quality, medium, high, and low and I always want to leave mine on high because that's going to be the best video footage and you can also adjust your night vision settings for an auto on or off. So if you have a front porch or your front door is well illuminated and you don't really need the night vision setting, you can turn the night vision off and just use your house lighting to see what's going on or you could just leave it on that auto setting to automatically turn on or off whenever it detects there is enough light or not enough light. Overall, in my experience, the Nest Hello has been a great doorbell, even though it's about three years old. And even though it's three years old, it really still competes in the same segment as the Ring Pro 2 doorbell, which just came out in 2021. Now, the Ring Pro 2 has a little bit better resolution. When you look at the overall total number of pixels on the Ring Pro 2, when compared to the Nest Hello, However, in my opinion, they are incredibly similar when you're viewing them on your phone or on the computer. And I do think that the Nest Hello has an image sensor that responds just a teeny little bit better than the Ring Pro 2 to changing lighting levels. Now, everyone's lighting conditions are gonna be different, so it may work better for you in some circumstances where you've got full sun with the Nest Hello or the Ring Pro 2, or if you've got a covered porch like we've got here right now. And just in my experience, this has been a little bit better, but I do really like the Ring Pro 2. I think it's a great option. Really, either one of these are a great option. The biggest difference is that Nest has 24 seven video recording footage, and typically that video storage solution is gonna be a little bit more expensive for the Nest Hello than the Ring cameras. And the other thing is that the Nest Hello has the familiar faces feature or AI faces feature, which the Ring system does not yet have. So the Ring system is going to only record on motion alerts, if that's the Ring Pro 2. You don't have the familiar faces AI feature yet available on the Ring Pro 2, but that may change at some point in the future. And the Nest Hello is gonna work on the Nest app with other Nest devices like the Nest thermostat or Nest locks. What you should know about the Nest Hello is that it's designed around the Google ecosystem and Nest ecosystem, where the Ring products are designed around the Alexa ecosystem, and they're gonna integrate better with the Alexa devices and Alexa 